Uh, humeral fractures are uh, very common in the upper extremity. About uh, 20 percent of these are in the shaft. Uh, the reported uh, incidence of radial nerve palsy with humeral shaft fractures ranges somewhere between 8 to 18 percent of the literature. Realistically, though, the number is uh, <clears throat> somewhere around 10 percent. So it is not an uncommon problem. Uh, this study from Noble, uh, they looked at uh, nerve injuries with close fractures, a large uh, uh, trauma center study, and uh, they found that upper extremity radio, uh, nerve injuries were more common than lower extremity injuries with closed injuries, and by far the radial nerve uh, was the most uh, frequently injured uh, with humeral fractures compared to the ulnar and the perineal nerve. So again, it's a relatively common problem. <clears throat> Looking at the anatomy, of the, uh, of the real nerve in the arm. Uh, one of the reasons that the real nerve gets in trouble is that around the mid-shaft of the humerus, the real nerve comes in close contact with the bone, specifically over the spiral groove of the, um, uh, of the humerus. Now, we typically learn that uh, the, the nerve is directly opposed to the humeral shaft at the spiral groove. In my experience, and certainly in some anatomic texts, uh, there does appear to be some uh, muscle intervening, uh, either part of the brachialis origin or part of the triceps muscle.